Well, hello. Um, I'm going to take a quick look at the Kanga Sub Tank Nano. That would be this little beastie here. This here is a Kanga Sub Tank Nano. Let's get it out of the box and then we can see what we're looking at. Um, outside of that black sleeve, you can actually see what it is. It's a real one, as you'll be able to see from that little lot on there. All of the proper information. And it says that this kit contains a sub tank nano, an OCC sub ohm 0 0.5 ohm to be used in the range 15 to 30 watts, and an OCC 1.2 ohm to be used in the range 12 to 25 watts, a Pyrex glass tube, and the manual. It says the sub tank mini is installed with the organic cotton coil head. Uh, which makes use of organic cotton as a wick, which is much healthy and environmental. So this is the real I am uh, completely, totally and utterly Chinese, as you can tell by all that writing that's on there. It's not translated very well. So what do you get in the box? Let's have a look and see what we shall see. And here it is. Put that out of the way. So the sub tank nano itself, the spare coil, the spare Pyrex glass which I have difficulty in getting out because it's really tight. Come out. There you are. And some spare red O-rings to go with it, as you'll be able to see quite nicely there. So let's uh, drop that back in because I ain't about to smash it at the minute. And let's pull the Nano out itself and see what we can say about it. And put that out of the way as well. So here it is, the Nano. Um, Construction is fairly familiar if you are used at all to seeing these Kanga sub tanks. Um, let's screw the bottom off, and the construction then becomes quite clear to see, with the exception that you've got a completely clear tank down here. And this one appears to have a scratch in it, which I've only just noticed. I don't know whether it goes all the way through, so let's take that off unscrew this so you can see how that happens and as you'll see the thread is inside and you've got this threaded part here let's go really close up and then we can really see what's happening so this is the threaded part this is the base of it and here is the tank and you can see if i just take this out I want to check whether it is in fact cracked and there is a mark which you probably won't be able to see just down here but it's not going through onto the inside I can't feel it so it will do so there right in the middle you'll see that's where it plucks onto and these little rings are sculpted so that your glass fits onto it quite nicely and then the two simply screw together again which holds your tank in place that makes for quick and easy tank changement i rather like the way that works and it's good and solid and because of the way the threads are it's going to be a little bit difficult to over tighten that and smash the glass but if it can be done i'm sure i'll find a way here's the standard occ coil you can see the coil wound in there this is um 0 0.5 I think yeah it's the 0 0.5 ohm as you'll be able to see there and again as with all of the OCCs on all of the sub tanks it just screws in and because of the way it's put, it put together it's very very easy to re-wick and um, there's already video of that but I'll do another one in super high resolution so you can see what's going on and that then screws into the base unit as you might expect needs to be screwed fairly firmly down and then on the base unit you have the air control as you can see here if I just rotate this round so you've got that lovely big slot there right open so you can get as much air in as you want that way and then smaller holes so there's a two hole setting with a detent as you can see the two holes there and oop, little further on at the other detent there's a one hole setting there and then 
for travel purposes, you can close it off altogether. Now, I've yet to go onto an aeroplane with one of these, but that setting there should hopefully stop any leakage. So let's um, stick a little bit of juice in there and uh, clag it onto a device and see how it works in ordinary mode. So filling one of these is, as you might expect, fairly simple. It's top, well, bottom fill, and you just fill it until it's level with where you're going to screw the whole thing in. You can go slightly over if you want. They do suggest, and I would agree with this, that you put a few drops of liquid on the coil to uh, give it a head start as it were. I like to put six on because there's quite a wealth of cotton in there and it actually doesn't matter if a little bit goes through and then screw it in. And that's it done, completed, sorted out and ready to go. Um, I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes. You'll see there's little bubbles forming just here and it's going up. That means we're getting some juice through into the wicks. And uh, yeah, the wicks have actually gone behind these little metal parts here. But that's it. And the drip tip is of course removable as you would expect um, so yes let's just give it a couple more seconds to get that through and while we're doing that I shall screw it onto a 40 watt DNA 40 equipped 3D printed machine and when we switch it on the right way around it already was when we switch it on you will see that it's reporting 0 0.57 ohms all right and it'll be in voltage mode i would think that's interesting yeah it's not obviously going to read correctly so what i'm going to do there is put it into the right mode hold the two buttons down come on and take it out of temperature mode. Change to all temperature and then use the up button just to take it up to 600 watts and that's it. Temperature mode is now off. Press the button five times and we're back in ordinary mode. Um, it is as well to take a couple of test drags just gently. No air going in as you would expect so I'm going to open it all the way up as you can see and let's uh, give it a blast and see how it goes this is in non-DNA 40 mode and it's at 18.9 watts which you can see there let's take it up one so straight on to 19 watts, let's have another blast. People might well be wondering what juice is this. It's my own mix, it's the standard stuff that I use. It's uh, as close to 100% glycerin as I can get. And that appears to be working rather pleasantly. Now let's have a look at the back of the box where it says that the 0 0.5 is to be used in the range of 15 to 30 watts. That's what it says on there. I don't know whether you'll be able to make it out. Is it going to focus? Focus, you swine. There you go. 15 to 30 watts for the 0 0.5 so I suppose the thing to do is to rack this up to 30 watts and see what it does 
Keep going. 28, 29.1, 30 watts, as ever was. So let's give it a blast. Um, yeah, that is blitzing it out. here to tell you that that <laughs> that's around about 18 to 20 milligram of nicotine in there <laughs> and you can feel it airflow on the beast is brilliant wide open let me knock it down again and this time go to the single hole setting you can hear it click in and uh, let's see how that pans out shall we I think I probably could I probably could manage to get away with a normal mountain mouth inhale on that but I can also lug it quite nicely and as you can see it's producing really rather nicely this little beastie i think it's probably going to get clagged on to this little beast which is an e-leaf i stick 30 watts as you can see and uh, yeah let's see how it works on there shall we because i reckon that could make rather a nice little combination We'll put the uh, the DNA out of the way, as one does, and screw it onto the eye stick. Since the eye stick only goes up as far as 30 watts, switch it on. It's at 21 watts at the moment. You'll forgive me. There you are, 21 watts. I'm making connection. You'll forgive me if I don't take it up to 30. Let's give it a blast. That is very acceptable. I'll open it right up again. So we're up on full airflow again, as you can see. And let's give it a chuck. That's banging it out. So there you have it. The sub tank nano from Kangatech, um, available widely all over the place. Comes with two coils, as I said, the OCC coils. Um, its capacity is not massive. It's going to take a couple or three mils. That's about it. That could well get a lot of people through half a day I think uh, I'll put it into use and I'll tell you in the studio what it's really like on Thursday using it in anger but that little beast is going to get carried around as uh, as a piece of kit goes that's not a bad size unfortunately shirt pocketable as well oh dear how sad never mind back to the studio